Well, uh, good afternoon, boys and girls. Um, uh, first things first, um, we were at the hospital to see the uh, cancer specialist for the full diagnosis of my wife's uh, lung cancer. <clears throat> And um, she has uh, what is called non-small cell lung cancer. Um, thankfully, um, it is treatable. Um, the uh, the doctor that uh, was giving us the uh, the full diagnosis and explaining everything, she was absolutely fantastic. Doc Dr. Yi Ling is her name, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, and she was absolutely fantastic. Um, the treatment will be, um, she's being referred to uh, another uh, cancer treatment specialist and uh, we will be, um, uh, we hopefully should have an appointment in a couple of weeks time and uh, they will look at uh, the full diagnosis and they will decide on the exact treatment plan. Now whether it, it's more than likely going to be radiotherapy and um, <clears throat> Uh, whether it's uh, they, obviously until they they see her and they get all the information, they won't be. Just, Dr. Yeeling couldn't say exactly um, what the treatment would be, but it would either be um, uh, say a week of multiple radiotherapies per day, um, or it will be uh, single radiotherapies over a series of of weeks and days, <coughs> or of days every week. Um, but like I say, we, we're waiting on the appointment to see the uh, the uh, the person who's going to make up the um, the treatment plan. So um, that was absolutely fantastic news. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, certainly not out of the woods yet, um, but uh, um, it, it's looking far better, and uh, and and I feel uh, and and I know Pam does too. Um, we feel like we've got a second chance um, so yeah um, so there you go uh, I, I don't know what more to say uh, on that uh, um, of course the um, uh, the Just Giving page is still open there's a link in the description down below um, and I'd just like to say a huge huge thank you to uh, to all the people that have, uh, have donated uh, you all know who you are <coughs> um, yeah, it's 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 a great help. We're actually um, we're actually going to go down to see um, family before my, uh, Pam's treatment starts uh, in a couple of weeks' time. So we're going down to uh, to Leeds to see family um, this next week and uh, for a few days just to give her a bit of a break and a bit of relaxation and um, and to see uh, her son, uh, my stepson, and the baby and his wife and uh, we'll see my dad while we're down there as well so uh, so yeah just just a, a family visit and uh, and yeah so uh, so yeah there you go um, <coughs> so as you can see we're out and uh, we've got a new shovel I uh, I ordered a new shovel and it arrived today so um, I thought we'd come out today and give it a try and uh, Although it's, it was raining this morning and now it's dried and then it's, there's a little bit of rain on and the rain's off and the sun comes out and then the sun goes in and, and generally it's, uh, it's uh, hit and miss really with the weather. There's lots of clouds coming over from the hills behind me. So, uh, But I'm going to try in this field here where I've not tried before on the 500 acre permission and, uh, and we'll see what happens. Um, uh, uh, yeah, what happened to the last shovel? I think... I think I left it on the beach when I was beachcombing. I think that's what I did. Um, it probably looks because I, I released the uh, the metal detecting video after I'd done the beachcombing video, uh, but I actually shot them it, uh, the other way around. So I, I released the the beachcombing one first, and then I released the. So it kind of looks like I'd found my shovel, but I actually hadn't. If you know what I mean. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> let me get set up and. Uh, I've still got a tail end of this cold and a really bad sore throat, but we'll uh, we'll crack on. I'm well wrapped up today, so uh, so yeah, we'll crack on and we'll get started. All right, back shortly. Well, there we go. First find. And it looks like a can. 
Let me see if I can just clean up a bit more. Give me two seconds, let me see if I can clean this off. Yeah, I'm certain that's uh, that's part of a, a pop can or a soda can, as you might call it. I'll take it home, I'll just give it a quick scrub at home, but uh, but we'll pretend that's, uh, that's a bit of trash anyway. All right, on we go. At least we won't find it again. <laughs> well, about four, four inches down or so, and then it's that uh, tiny little bit of scrap, whatever that is. Good clear signal anyway. Thought it was a coin, but uh, not to be this time. Let's carry on. Well, good signal and hold your horses. It's from about six, six inches down and it's right there. See it? Next to the wiggly worm. <laughs> right, what are you? What are you? If you tell me you're modern, I think that's Queen Victoria, you know, uh, Queen Elizabeth, sorry. Queen Elizabeth II, I think that is. Let me just uh, clean it on a bit of this mossy, mossy grass here. Oh. Right, I need. Uh, I'm certain that's Queen Elizabeth II. I'm certain of it. <laughs> Probably can't see it, but coin number one anyway, we'll take it. Looks like it's got a milled edge as well. I suspect. Yeah, it's a five pence. It's a modern, well, modern, it's no longer uh, current. Uh, uh, it's no longer uh, currency. You can't spend these, is what I'm saying. They're, they're literally half the size this, of this now. Five pence, anyway. One coin. Let's carry on. Oh, yeah, I wanted to, uh, to show you this. Um, <clears throat> when I was up here last time metal detecting and I saw the the uh, the hunters that uh, that work on the fields up here, I um, I asked them if they found any antler, and they were kind enough to to give me a piece of antler that they'd found that very day. So uh, I, I was fig I was trying to figure out <clears throat> I was trying to figure out what I could do with it, what I could make it into, sort of thing. And uh, I remembered that I had some um, uh, some what they call uh, fire steels, um, uh, or uh, some people might know them as a, a ferrocerium rod. And uh, basically, they're, they're used for fire starting in, in bushcraft, that kind of thing. And I thought, right, well, I'll give this a shot. I thought I looked at a couple of videos on YouTube, and I thought well, that's quite easy, really. So, uh, so this is what I came up with. Let me show you. Let me turn you around here. So this is what I came up with. <clears throat> so I cut a piece of antler, um, just round off slightly, rounded off the edges, sanded those off ever so slightly, and um, and drilled the the antler out, placed the rod in, glued it in place and uh, drilled a hole for uh, a lanyard, just a piece of uh, <coughs> uh, paracord there. And uh, yeah, that's what I came up with. I thought it was pretty neat. And uh, nice and compact. Now, I, I've not got a striker yet, but I have found, I have found something that I'm gonna make the striker out of. Um, of well, obviously you need a, you need a piece of um, steel to strike against this to get a spark. And um, the best type of steel is uh, is a steel that is high in uh, uh, carbon. So uh, anyway, I found something that that works perfectly and works really easy and gives a perfect spark every time. Um, but I need to make up, and that's like I say, that's what I'm going to use for the striker. But I need to get that made up to go with this. Um, so once I've got that made up, I will show you it in uh, in operation. And basically, you just run a. Some people use a, a like a fixed blade knife, and and they run the back of the knife down here, and it gives a spark. Um, obviously, I can't show you because I'm I'm working one-handed here at the minute. But uh, but yeah, once I've got the uh, once I've got the striker made, I will uh, I will show you it in operation. All right, well there you go. That's uh, that's just about the uh, this the extent of my handicrafts and my skills. Um, but uh, but yeah, like I said, I made a couple of these. I might uh, I might put one in a giveaway at some stage. So. Uh, Anyway, on we go. Right, well, <clears throat> I'm about six foot from the last signal where I found the 5P and another bright signal. And this looks like some sort of relic, doesn't it? Can you see that? See that thing? Let's see what this is. What on earth is that? What on earth is that? Hmm. 
Huh. What are you? Hmm. What a bizarre thing. Okay, I have no idea. Okay. Well, as we say, ideas on a postcard. We'll clean it up at home. I think it's brass. I think it's hollow at that end as well. Right, well, we'll take it with us. On we go.